Chris Dowden here, and today I want to show you how to set up and store your IOTA coins with the Ledger Nano S. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is start Ledger Manager and plug in your Ledger itself. Then head to the Manager tab and make sure your Ledger is plugged in and activated. Once that's done, you want to find the IOTA app. So you can go to the app catalog, punch in IOTA, and then click install. It'll take a few seconds to install the app. Now if you have room on your device, it should just install automatically. If there isn't room, you'll have to uninstall another application. Keep in mind, this does not remove any coins on the device. You'll just have to reinstall that app later. You should get a message on your device saying that it is processing and once process is complete the app will be successfully installed. Now Ledger does not make the software itself to support IOTA. So what they've done is they've partnered with Trinity. In order to get the Trinity software you just want to go over to trinity.iota.org and then scroll down to the bottom and for this, I will be selecting the Windows, but if you're on a Mac, you'd want to pick Mac or any of these other systems. And the application will start downloading. Now I get a warning that says this application may harm my computer because it's an exe file, but I do want to keep this file because I do want that. And now I'm going to head to my downloads folder and I will double click the exe file to install the Trinity app. wall of text that we're supposed to read. So now it says your IOTA seed is the master key to your funds. It's 81 long. So now we have IOTA installed on the device. As you can see here. And it is on. If your device has gone to sleep, make sure you punch in your code again. You do want your device on here. And then we want to proceed with setup. Now here we have to pick an index and this can be any number we want. I'm going to go ahead and go with 5 and continue. So now I have to go to the IOTA app on the device, as we can see here, and I will click both buttons to open the app. So I have to pick an account name here. Now anything is fine. I'm just going to go with account 1. And continue. Great, wallet is all set up and ready for use. Let's open up the wallet. And it's loading the seed for the first time, so this may take a little bit. And the wallet opens up. So over here, I can go send IOTA, but as it turns out, this is a new wallet and I don't have any IOTA in it. So let's go ahead and close that. And I can also receive IOTA. So if I click Receive IOTA, I would generate my address by clicking this. And it'll take a few seconds and an address that I can receive will be generated. And it'll also display that on the device itself, as you can see here. And I want to double check just as a safe measure to make sure that the address on the device matches the one on the computer. Once I've confirmed that, I can go ahead and just click Copy Address. And I happen to have another wallet. This is my IOTA desktop wallet. So let's go ahead and send. So here's the address and the amount that I want to send is the one IOTA that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and send that now. And this does take a couple minutes, but while the sending process takes place, the one IOTA that I have in my old wallet, I am now going to send to my new Ledger wallet. And transfer is complete. So let's go ahead and minimize that. Close this. And in just a minute or two, we should see my balance update and the zero will change to a one. And you can see at the bottom right corner, Trinity has just updated a message saying that it's receiving. And once it's confirmed, here it is. 
I will have one iota in my wallet. Now I don't have to keep the wallet open for this process to take place. I'm going to go ahead and close this down. Let's close this down too. Let's start everything back up from the beginning. So if I want to view my wallet in the future, I now have this icon on my desktop. So I can just double click that and it'll launch the application. I then want to make sure that my ledger is in the IOTA app and then I'll punch in my passcode and click login. And there you have it. And it may take a little while for the IOTA to go through depending on how fast the Tangle is working today. As you can see here, it is being received and once it is received, you will see a one up here. And as I'm saying that, it pops in. So we can now see that the receiving has changed to received and the one iota that I sent from my Windows wallet to my Ledger wallet has been received and the zero has changed to a one. So that's how you set up and use the iota wallet with the Ledger device.